it's Cake Up Kristen, and I'm gonna be showing you how to contour and highlight. I'm gonna start off with my Maybelline Fit Me Dewy and Smooth Foundation in the number 330 Toffee. Going to apply that with my damp beauty blender. I'm gonna blend my foundation down my neck so that everything matches. Next, I'm using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Cream Contour and Highlight Palette. I'm gonna use this salmon color to highlight, and I'm gonna use this darker brown color to contour. To apply each color, I'm going to use two separate flat brushes just so that the colors don't get mixed up. I'm working in downward motions into a huge triangle and this is going to brighten up that whole area under my eye. I'm also going to highlight my cupid's bow, my nose, my forehead, a little bit on my chin, and under where I would contour my cheekbones. Using tapping motions, I'm using my damp beauty blender to blend all that out. To contour, I'm taking that brown color on my second flat brush and dotting along my forehead, my jawline, and the hollows of my cheeks. To set my under eyes, forehead, nose, and chin, I'm going to use my Laura Mercier translucent powder and I'm going to apply that with this big fluffy brush. To set the rest of my face, I'm using my Maybelline loose powder in the shade light. This is probably not my color, but I'm using two different powders because I'm running out of my Laura Mercier powder and I want to use that in areas that I want to look smoother since it is a finer powder. And the Maybelline powder isn't as fine, so I use it to set the rest of my foundation. Since I didn't set my eyelids on time, they started creasing, so I'm going to smooth that out by using this Maybelline Instant Age Rewinder Eraser. And I'm going to set that with the same Maybelline Loose Powder with this fluffy eyeshadow brush. To bronze up, I'm going to use my Too Faced Bronzer in the color Dark Chocolate, and I'm going to apply that with this angled fluffy brush. I'm going to start off in the hollows of my cheeks by going in small circular motions. Then I'm going to bronze under my chin, my jawline, down my neck, and a little bit on my shoulder so that everything matches. After bronzing the temples of my forehead, I'm going to use this flat brush to contour my nose. I like to start off in the little hollows beneath where my eyebrows start, and then go under my nose, my cupid's bow, a little bit under my, um, my lip just to make them look a little fuller, and then use the rest of the product up and down the sides of my nose. To blend that out, I'm going to use this brush right here. It's kind of like chopped off on the top so it's flat. Next, I'm using that same fluffy eyeshadow brush we used to set our eyelids and I'm dipping into some loose powder and I'm basically shaping out the shape that I want my nose to look like. To highlight, I'm going to use my cream highlighter by Sleek Makeup in the color Strobing Souffle and I'm going to apply this with my fingers. I'm lightly tapping the product on the high points of my cheeks, my chin, little triangle shapes above my eyebrows, my cupid's bow, and my nose after I dust this powder off. I'm gonna take some of that product onto this small flat brush to highlight my inner corners.
To set my face, I'm going to use my NYX setting spray in the dewy finish and this is also going to help my highlighter powder to glow even more. For highlighter powder, I'm going to use my Anastasia Beverly Hills Moon Child Highlighter Palette in the shade Pink Heart. To apply that, I'm going to use this small fan brush and I'm going to do this before my setting spray dries. I'm going over all the areas where I applied the cream highlighter. I'm also going to highlight a little bit under my brows. Next, I'm going to apply some blush by Wet n Wild, and this is in the color 831E. And I would usually do this step before highlighting, but I forgot, so I'm just going to apply it now with this fluffy brush. That is it for this video. I just finished the rest of my makeup off camera, but thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Stay cake, stay fierce, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!